Silas. What? I can't help it. He's we a got a lot of racking going on. Have we started? We're starting. Yeah, we're wow. starting. I reckon we started. I guess we started. I don't know. Hey, hey why not? Y'all consider need to tell me control. something, boys. Hey. hey. Boy, consider yourself warm. Welcome back. We're in the duck call room. Okay, boys. What we have we been up to? Five, three, eyes know. of blue. How about Y'all been you? killing anything on the rice fields? We're killing a few. That's what we're, we're doing. Killing we're, we're killing a we're few. We're scratching them yeah. out. We had a good day the other day. What, Friday? We killed 35. One short of a full limit. For y'all years. gave up? Oh, oh, all these boys got where they just they bird washers. No, that's the day y'all. Is that the day y'all shot all them woodies? Killed eighteen. Well, we of killed them. eighteen yeah. full limits of woodies. But hey, we had a lot of gadwalls and mallards too. Well, there you mallards. Go. Yeah, mallards. 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 It's a mallard. Yeah. No, it's been a strange start. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, We've had a good start. Canvas bags. Yeah. yeah, a little bit of everything. Yeah. Widgeons. Yeah. A little bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of a smorgasbord. Yeah, we got so a couple of model ducks, though. Model oh, y'all killed? Huh? No, we ain't killed none of them yet. Yeah, no, no, yeah I, I went. I went ahead and snuck and dope popped me a big old drake. <laughs> old dope pop. Uh, that's something. You know, it's like we killed a, two big, it's big a weird black, black mallard drakes a couple of years ago. It's been about 10, 20. But nobody's <laughs> bragging. <laughs> a couple, right. year, couple yeah, of years yeah, ago, all been about 15, 10, 20. Fifteen years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Them are normally stay on the coast. Yeah. But yeah. they messed up and come down here. I went fishing Friday. Did you catch any? You bet you. I Did smoked you? Them. Where at? I, look, I pulled on it up. On what? Did I, you go to the gar hole? I went to Darbone. I, I went, said you went to the gar hole. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I was fixing the back up, and this guy pulls in. It's like, it's 930. I said, you done got your limit? He said, no, nah, that finicky. And, uh, and I said, hmm, that ain't good. Uh-oh. I pulled out there. These are, these are, uh, put them connoisseur crappie, crappie. Crappie magnets on them and smoked them. Huh. I think he was pulling my leg. Yeah, <laughs> sound like. He was being a little. Yeah, no, I wouldn't waste my time out there. It was yeah. just like us. So, yeah, we're killing a few. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> no, he, he was trying to make me leave. <laughs> you got to watch a duck. You don't. Know, you got to watch a fisherman and a duck. Yeah. They don't will ever, lie to you. You don't ever show your full hand. Them boy, right. them, yeah. them yeah. fish is in that channel, and they are hungry. Are they? They in it, or they on the edge of it? The big ones are on the edge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Up on that pole timber. Yeah. Typical. But you get in the middle of that channel, and you can catch all you want. Yeah. You went through there spider rigging. You'd be giggling oh. like a bunch of schoolgirls. <laughs> no, I've done but, that. That means you got to go back and see Johnny D for a bunch more of them yeah, expensive yeah. shiners. Yeah, amen, to yeah. amen to it. Amen to it. I yeah. sold a bunch Johnny of shiners D's this morning. Eight. Yeah. Yeah. The <laughs> wad is about 18 foot, and the bigger ones are about 14 foot. Uh-huh. Yeah. See, I appreciate God when telling people how to catch. There's yeah, a bunch right, of people right. that get all nervous that's about right. telling other people how to do it. You can't. You like can't, there's enough. Then we're going to run out of fish somewhere. You can't catch all the fish out of Darbo. It's was you above a, or below the bridge? I was right below it. See? He was right below it, boys. Telling everybody. I didn't say He's which telling the, the he spot. Didn't say, he didn't say which bridge. <laughs> hey, that's it. That's <laughs> true. Okay, there's, a, there's, a there's, a there's a couple of bridges bridge. around there, boys. But hey. last week I was up above Highway oh. 2. Uh-oh. I know. Uh, I'm going to take this time to give everybody a fishing tip in the winter. Yeah. Uh, Go get in the channel and just look for the people. Well, uh, yeah, that's I, where I they try are. To get away from them. Right? I do too. Get but, in the channel and look but, for people. But if you'll treat it like cormorants right. and just go out there and be yeah, in a big right. wall, look for oh, the flotilla, right. boys. Yeah. Hey, the the flotilla. Yeah, the yeah. flotilla. Yeah. yeah, there's a few bigger fish up corny. Uh, yeah, yeah. May nobody going up. Yeah, there. Yeah, when you see about mm-hmm. forty boats together that you can just walk on from one to the other, that's where you want to fish. That's where you want to fish. Yeah, that's why they all there. Okay, the fish are back. Thank you. Well, or either they are they either was, having a, a like a centennial get together, yearly get together. I caught a bunch of black crappie. Oh, he caught a bunch of black crappie, boys. Look at there, ain't that something? Most importantly, <laughs> on Darbone. How, how'd you cook them? <laughs> well, well, Miss Paula wanted mustard on them this time. Uh-oh, I usually mustard. put the sour cream on them, but she wanted mustard this time. Oh boy, he used the sour them cream. I put it. Minutes. I put them in a. I cut the fillets off and put them in a big silver bowl. And salt and pepper. And a silver bowl just for honor them. Well, uh, you can work. You can work. <laughs> yeah, that too. 
<laughs> but you can work better in a big silver. Did you get you know, it from our friends at SD Bullion? Yeah, uh, there you go. That's it, boys. Hey, and, uh, SD Bullion. An expensive bowl there. Probably then I put water. mustard on them. Mix it up real good. And then I put, I take some Cool Ranch Doritos and crush them up in a Ziploc bag. What? Uh-oh. Cool, cool Ranch, Ranch Doritos. You... Cool Ranch Doritos. Crush them up. Like, crush them up. Hey. And, and, that's, and that's mix it base. in my flour. That's right. Not, that's not cornmeal. Flour. Flour. Yeah, that's it, boys. And put it on there and mix it up. Doritos? You better believe it. It gives them a crunchy. You don't have to do that if you use sour cream. Sour oh. cream crunches better than mustard. Uh-oh. The base. Martin, can you confirm or deny Doritos in your fried fish? I haven't done it, but I've eaten his. It, it? It's way better than them flaming hot chicken nuggets from Applebee's. <laughs> well, well hey, ain't most things that. better than anything you can get out <laughs> of okay, Applebee's. Well, uh, hey. <laughs> and I ain't never even tried the things from Applebee's, but every time I see that commercial, I'm like, no, that's a gar. <laughs> that's, that's a, a gar, mega boy. gar. The only one reason I'm gar. going to Applebee's is to look at goofy stuff on a wall, not... Not yeah. to eat. Yeah. No. Oh, he's cool. It ain't goofy stuff. Hey, let's cool go get stuff. kicked out of one. What do you say? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> go get kicked out. I have I them boys have been talking about them. I don't know that I've ever uh, eaten at Applebee's, uh, but I'm interested in Dorito fish. <laughs> no, it works. You've never done it? No, uh, I've never done Dorito fish. He ain't ever caught no fish. That's below that don't the border. Mean, uh, whoa, that's, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. that's below the border. He, fish. Shows, don't, he shows up whenever they're ready. That no, uh, I know. I cook plenty of fish. Like now I might not have caught them. Tell Big Dave. Tell Big Dave next time yeah. when you cook fish. Say, look here, Dad. Here's what I want you to do. And just see the kind of look he gives. Right. No, he right. then. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I ain't no, telling corn meal. No, on, he ain't corn telling meal dad, on nothing, crappie. Boys. That's sacrilege. I I got to disagree with you there. But yeah. I grew up a cornmeal eater. Yeah. I mean, that's all well, my mom cooked. You put cornmeal on catfish and such. I don't know. I don't know. That cornmeal God, on that I'm crap not, is good. God, we're going to have to agree to disagree on that one because yeah. I've eaten more cornmeal fried crappie than most humans. Yeah. That's the only way I cook them. So I don't oh, no. I, I'm a meal fryer. I like it. He's a meal, a meal fryer, fryer boys. So, I didn't know nothing about mustard fried until I ran around scared this part. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, I didn't know nothing about it. So. Scared to change. Well, I ain't scared to change, but I'd I change also, anything up in a heartbeat. Here's I, here's what I know: if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You ain't got to go fix it. Oh, well, don't do it then, because yeah. you'll show sure get mad. Oh, it's good. Look, it. it's good. My problem is this: well, I'm mustard. still confused by the Doritos. No, that's good. Is it? Yeah, that's solid. Okay. Yeah, it, it gives it's your flour something food. crunchy. Border food. That's yeah. what that is, boy. Border, border food. What is border food? How come when we South four get together, it always ends up? We food. always talk about eight. There's a flying saucer coming over. It better not fly by nothing metal. Whoa. Because <laughs> 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 if that thing hey, flies by, I think my computer this was in the way. This for real. Look at that. <laughs> now see if the bell dings like that I'm okay with it Cause that's just kind Suck of a cool there. party trick hey, you know? That's a, that's a magnet there Jack Guaranteed it is <laughs> yeah, yeah don't get caught in between uh, look, Ah boys. my finger <laughs> Ow. And you know why Because it ain't no cheap gun magnet That's it. It's the real deal that's right, This boy. Black Panther is heavy yeah, he All is. Right? Yeah. It's wow. like 5 pounds yep. Look, and Can't it, shake it loose Our friends over at Soft Hole Gun Magnets are here with the perfect strong magnet for you to help protect your gun. You can mount them in your truck, under your desk, or anywhere you need easy access in to your truck. gun. A couple of Duck Call Room listeners named John and Lori set out to make the best gun magnets money can buy, and boy, did they ever. The soft hole gun magnet, they started making these in their garage by hand, and John ended up getting a magnet with a perfect size and strength built to his custom specs. They wrapped the neodymium magnet in top grain leather to keep it from scratching your gun. And voila, soft hole gun magnets were born and with the perfect holding power and perfect good looks. Kind of like my friend John Gobbin. It does look good. I thought you were going to say where, John David. Now, where can you mount the, the gun magnets? You can mount them in your car, <laughs> beside your bed, in a duck blind, in a safe, under a desk, under a store counter, pretty much anywhere you think you may need to hold your gun where it's out of sight, out of mind. Every soft old gun magnet is handcrafted in America with a verse from 1 Thessalonians on the back. Test all things. Hold fast what is good. The 50-pound pull magnet is designed to keep your full-size, fully loaded gun secure on even the roughest roads in America. These look good anywhere you mount them, even when your gun isn't attached. Get an American Patriot magnet, armed and beautiful. Come and take it 
or even ask about custom logos. You spend $500 to $1,000 on the perfect gun. So why would you put a cheap magnet that'll scratch your new investment? Buy the best. Buy American. You can't always carry your gun on your hip. But when you need it close, soft hold is the choice for American gun owners like you. This Christmas, give yourself or someone you love the one gun accessory you'll use forever, a soft hold gun magnet. But order now because this is a small business and supplies will be limited as Christmas gets closer. Use the promo code DUCK at checkout to get a 10% discount off your entire order at softhold.com. That's S-O-F-H-O-L-D.com. There's no T in there. S-O-F-HOLD.com. Promo code DUCK for 10% off your whole order. Oh, it ends up it's great. Right. Right. Talk to y'all about my turkey. I was going to ask oh, you about that. How did me... you crab boil brine turkey turn up? Son, there ain't none left. <laughs> he said, that was no awesome. Thing. But look, I they did make the something. Bones. I went ahead and I boiled it for 15 minutes. The crab boil? Yeah. And then cut and then the heat let, off. And then turned it off and let it soak all night. Yeah. Now, you don't need a lot. But you didn't, you didn't put your turkey in while it was boiling. No, no I stuck it in there and brought it. Brought it to yeah, him. and then killed it. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. So you boiled the turkey before you cooked it. Before I put it on the smoke, I shot it up. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what he drugged Paolo, it, boys. Paulo shot it up with a bunch of stuff. What's up? They drugged it. Probably Creole butter. Injected like it that. with a little Tony Shirai, uh, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it was something. Yeah, sad. Creole I butter. I just don't know yeah. which one. My turkey at Thanksgiving ended up the dessert turkey. What? It was quite ready. Oh, it was awesome. One, two, three, four. How big was it? Big? And- no, it was I small. talked to all these people had some mega turkeys. That's all they had. Really? At the store. Mine pound. was thirteen pounds. It was perfect. Yeah. Oh, I had two birds. I had I had a turkey and wood ducks. Oh, Uh-oh. yeah, we had woodies, Ooh. woodies and teal. Um, you talk about good. Ap- apparently, though, there was a normal sized turkey shortage, so all they had was giant turkeys. Big ostriches. Yeah. yeah, and I forgot oh, I was supposed work. to cook a turkey until about two days, no, a two o'clock in the afternoon the day before Thanksgiving. Oh, good night. You didn't even have time to thaw it out. Mm, I think that's why it took a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. That first little more. smoke was a bit of a thaw Just still. more of a defrost. Wow. So I left it on the, but but yeah, the only t- the, there was like five turkeys left at the store, the little tiny one I got, and then like. Megas. I mean, straight ostriches. Yeah, scared ostriches. you to look at. I couldn't cook that. Yeah, my my father in law texted me. He said, "You know, six hours down, or no?" He said, six, "Yeah, six hours down, four to go." I said, "Hammer, that thing's gonna be like boot leather when you get off there." He said, "Well, it was twenty four pounds." I said, "That ain't no turkey. That's an <laughs> ostrich and <laughs> emu at like, the at the least." I yeah. mean, hey, twenty four. It did. Took him ten church, hours to get it to one sixty five in the breast <laughs> at two fifty. No. Uh, no, we got to try something else. No, at some point, at about 120, I'd have got the peanut oil hot. And that thing would have went from the smoker to the fryer. Rip. But a 24-pound yeah. bird, you're going to have to have a big old pot and get uh, in there. Yeah. yeah. 24 pounds is too big. You're going to need a pot to Yeah, that's, that's a dang big one. That's a mega. One of them big old black ones with them three legs on it. But now we get to just focus on preparing for Christmas menus. Oh, yeah. What are we going to do for Christmas? I don't know. Maybe we'll get into that here in a little bit. Goblin, we went out there by your house that night. I honked a horn when I went by. I we, heard. We went to the Candy Cane Lane out there. Oh, Candy oh, Cane Went and saw the Christmas lights. How was it this year? I thought it was pretty cool. I like the duck hunting scene. Has that been out there? The duck hunting scene. They got a duck hunting deal Uh-oh, lit up in Christmas tree lights. That's what I'm that's talking me. about. No, it's that's me. new. Got Leave a little duck a flying neck. across the... Oh, oh, yeah. awesome. great. Oh, Leave it to the redneck boys. And then got the guys shooting the shotguns. In that back curve. Uh-huh. Yeah. Towards the end. Yeah. Yeah. What it's is awesome. it about Christmas lights? It is fun. I, I don't stop, know. I, I love stop and look at them. I mean, I, I I don't really like putting them up, but I love what looking like what other people have done. I've thought about going in. hardcore next year. Like like crazy. On Saturday, I come in from duck hunting, and Paula had the Christmas tree up. We got ours up. I said, already? Yep. It was past Thanksgiving. Now there are no rules. Yeah. Some people are rule breakers like me and go before Thanksgiving, but now it's it's game uh, on. We had them down Friday and everything. Up Saturday. Everything's wild, boys. There's stockings hanging off the TV stand. Yep, it's that time. Christmas for the, is here. One for the dogs. Oh. Yep. One for the dogs? Yeah. Yeah, our dog got one, too. Jonah. 
<laughs> Does Sweet Pea have a stocking? Uh, I don't know. What? That'd be Christine's deal. There. Well, you sit there and look at it every day. You don't know if there's an extra no. stocking for Sweet no. Pea? Sweet no. Pea, if you went home and Sweet Pea wasn't around, would you miss her? Yeah, because uh, he misses me when I go out. <laughs> when you're out on the No, town. no, I'm serious. As soon as I get home and walk in the door and sit down in the recliner, I just plop. He's in my lap. There you go. And I'm looking at him saying, hey, he always, because if I don't pet him right away, he'll do one of these numbers here. He'll look up and tell me, yeah, yeah, no. What are you, I said, <laughs> your hands I said, broke? I said, I said what's yeah, your problem? That's right. I said, what's your problem? And he Oh, He'll go put that hay in that hand. <laughs> the same thing my dog does. As soon as I walk in, she's waiting for me. She's antsy until I sit down so she can jump up there in my lap. That's right. Tell me all about her day, I guess. I don't really know if she's saying anything or not, but that seems to be what she's doing. That stinking Roger we got, he gets in your personal space. Roger? Uh, Roger, yeah. So Galvin's, about Galvin's got a good string of dog names. Oh, right yeah. well, Rogers a well, dog or well, a cat? Well, the, the Alabama oh. gave us that dog, the Rogers. So we named him Roger. We got it. But, got he, it. but he, uh, he wouldn't bark when we first got him. And so we called him Roger. That's Kyle's silent partner. But now he barks. He barks like crazy now. Who's silent but partner? He, Cow. Cow. That's, that the was other, her big black lab. Oh, cow. So, no, that's so the cow r- silent partner. Rat Terry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what was it? Lance? Todd. It? Todd. 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 Yeah. Big Todd. No, that was a good dog. He was. Todd was as Pretty. solid big as that dog. Roger. He now, was a biscuit eater, but he was a good one. Ever yeah. since you mentioned that your dog sits on your feet while you're on the toilet, Martin? Mm-hmm. People keep sending me pictures of the dogs on their feet, and I don't need to see that. Are they on the toilet? Yeah. Oh. Pants down. <laughs> One old boy's dog sits in his underwear, and he sent me a picture. I huh. see. That's just a little too close. Yeah. 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 I'll put it up on this screen, sir. That's a little that's too dirty. personal. Yeah. That's it a got, little too personal. It got weird. I'm just scrolling through emails <laughs> I'm laughing. while I was on the toilet. <laughs> I'm laughing because I don't know how many times I've sent a picture to Brittany of my feet covered by a dog on the toilet oh, saying come get your that. dog <laughs> you want to see it <laughs> about, come get your dog come, come get, get your, your dog. dog that man sent me this no, don't let's see it. let's there oh. yep oh yeah seen that i mean I, don't, I mean that's not a real man's dog but that's a snapchat too why oh man <laughs> that man sent me that that's, that's uh, your dog I'm not going to say your name, Taylor, from Pittsburgh, so you don't get embarrassed, but... He's a Steelers fan? I don't know what he is. Oh, He's from he Pittsburgh, so he probably... He don't know, boys. ...is a strange man. Inside a sweet... Are cats like that? The sweet pea come in the bathroom while you relieving yourself? Huh? Yeah. Yep. He'll lay down on the floor. Why do, why do animals do that? Hmm. Like, uh, you're looking for a couple of minutes of peace and quiet yeah, yeah. just to get some business done, and they got to come in there and make sure that everything's all right with you. Well, that man's it. dog was in his underwear. Yeah, and I say that looked like he put that one there. Yeah, I don't know. It's that a weird little teacup dog. thing. Now, Jude just lay on top of your feet. She ain't trying to get up in your drawers. Mm-mm. But well, the Jude too big. That was a, that wasn't like a real dog. Yeah, but see, Jude there. was raised around a bunch of Shih Tzus, so she thinks she's Shih Tzu size. Well, she gets up on top of the couch. She fifty pound lab. Get up on top of the couch. On top of the recliner. She between. I don't know if she thinks she's a Shih Tzu or a parrot. But that's kind of like the way she sits. She thinks it, she thinks she's a bird. Yeah, it, it's it's mm. bizarre. I don't know. See, and this guy said, "I feel like this is inappropriate." But 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 here it is. That's right. But here it is. Boys. You got another. But one. we're cool. Here's my dog lays on my feet in the bathroom too. Just <laughs> this is the pictures I get now. I just get pictures of people's feet on the toilet with dogs. Oh, on top and he's of got a calf tap. Look at that. And I, so he's mm. probably from Pittsburgh as well. Mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, that man, sorry, now look, that hammer done got comfortable. He took his shoes off. He yeah, had, he had I, planned I, on being there a minute. Yeah, I just don't. Who was that? That's uh, he didn't say his name, but that's I Jason. Smart. That's Jason. Jason, my man, Jason. We're gonna guess he's from Pittsburgh too, although we have no <laughs> oh, idea. No idea, boy. Because that's just what people from Pittsburgh do. Oh lord. No. Uh, we should take a break. We Martin. should. Yeah. I don't know what's happening. But I, I must say. Keep sending them to Johnny D because that makes yeah, me laugh. Well, Thinking yeah, about him having just to open them. Click it. I'm just going through and it's like, oh, a little child with their first deer. Oh, man's feet on the toilet. Yes. 
with his underwear down. We're winning. Now. Luckily, the dogs are blocking the skid marks. Ah, oh, hey, Ooh. hey, ah, oh, let's take a break on the skid mark. We're getting personal now, skid marks, boys. You want me to get that for you? A therapy device. I think it's legit. It works. I got one. That's tickling. And throat. I was using it, and then I couldn't find it because my wife liked it so much. She just took took it from me. And what it does is basically what Sai is doing on the table. It just it bangs on it. Just bang. Right. It's right. that percussive It just therapy. gets in that right. deep hey. tissue, Mark. Right. Oh, look. I, look. First day, nice. we've been sitting in a duck blind every day. That's pretty nice. The first day I hunted the trees last week where mm-hmm. I had to stand there all morning, when I got done, I was, uh, 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 yeah, I, I just oh. couldn't move, you know, that- everything was stiff. So when I got home, I told Brittany, I said, hey. uh, that new Theragun in there, you, you're going to have to hit me with that. And she got right back there on, in between my shoulder blades where it was the doggone tight. Next day, woke up, no problem. Hey, I got so, the, I got the song for you. Hit me, right. hit me with your best shot, baby. Yeah, hit me with your Theragun. That's right. better. Hey, so, Amen. It does help treat muscle tension from working out, or you know, in my case, like an injury from duck season. Like well, I mean, I was just uh, tight. I ain't done it in a year, so you know, it takes a while. It even feels good. You sit in the desk all day. You get up and use that. You get tight, and that thing loosens you up and gets you ready to roll. Well, like, here's what I know: if people like Paul George, DeAndre Hopkins, Maria Sharapova, if they using it, I think it's probably pretty good to keep yourself going. I mean, they yeah, still at the top of their game. I got one in the house of pain, deals, baby. So, you know, look. All you have to do now, let's. If you want to try Theragun, you can try Theragun for 30 days, starting at only $199. Go to therabody.com slash duck right now and get your Gen 4 Theragun today. That's therabody.com slash duck. Therabody.com slash duck. Gen 4 Theragun. You're going to be glad you did it. Wait, they're switching to one lug nut in NASCAR? Yeah. Tell us about it. It's a one lug nut, different rims, so the lug nut, oh. different car. The lug nut about that big. Yeah. I have Rent. a... That's a big wrench. Look, a five-second pit stop. It's going to take longer. You're going to have to wait on gas longer than it is going to take to put four tires on. get so oh. much oh. gas in those cars so fast? They don't get about 12, 13 gallons of it. Yeah. But it's still in eight seconds. I mean, it's just like. Do you know to, what I would do? Holes that big around. Yeah. To go to a gas station, and be able to fill up my car in like ten seconds. We need to invent that. Yeah. Half time pumps don't work. Yeah. <laughs> all them gas cans. Well, you need a nice car, gas man. That's what you need. That is what I need in life. Because mm. there's nothing that bothers do me that more. Do that at the honey hole. Yes. It used to be a gas station. Thirteen gallon fill up. <laughs> <laughs> Eight seconds or your money back. Yeah, there you go. Just like a bull ride. Our minors are free. Um <laughs> it just does it like does anything bother you Si, do you pump gas often? Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, do I, you I hate just a, sitting there? I drive a, I drive a truck. Yeah. I yeah, pump gas. I know. So, but don't you just hate sitting there waiting? No, on it? at my age, you don't get Shook up about nothing. Mm-hmm. So. You look around and see who's driving what. Yeah. Yeah. How many times a red light turns red. How many cars pile up this time behind it. <laughs> it don't bother me. Cause Stuff like that. Half time at the gas station, I'm buying rice bran too. Oh, wait. I got to wipe this thing <laughs> off. You got ulterior country. motives. Yeah. I'm buying no, rice he's bran. Always, and I'm you're buying, thinking about something else. I'm David. buying rice bran and deer corn. So while that thing's out there pumping up, I'm inside taking yeah. care of business. There Are you, you allowed to do that? What? Go inside while it's still pumping? I don't know. That's what my that's what the, my gas yeah, cap's for is to hold that handle up. <laughs> so I ain't got to stand there and do it. Yeah. Got an automatic shut off on it. It'll yeah. quit. Yeah, it'll quit. <laughs> I don't know the rule. Willie doesn't even turn his car off when he's pumping. I say gas. I do that. I stay away from that static electricity. He says they don't do boat. it in NASCAR. Well, he's right. But yeah. I notice that guy's wearing a fire suit, too. Yeah, so, fire suit, boy. You know. I've seen that ground catch on fire yeah. when they leave. Of course, they hit a lug nut and make a spark. <laughs> I, uh, mm. we I leave it on when Paula's in the car. Huh? I leave my car running when Paula's in the car. So the air will be going or the heat in the wintertime. Mm-hmm. I send Brittany in for rice bran. <laughs> 
No tote that fifty pound bag out. There you go. She young. <laughs> yeah. Strong too. That little wire. I was about to say, I was ain't picking up a fifty pound bag. Oh, Brittany. Oh, if there's Brittany any feed, that thing deer out feed. like a sack of taters. Uh, uh, if there's uh, any deer feed to be needed, she'll she'll go in and get it. Uh huh. If she done got riled up over that deer hunting, I tell you, good grief, <laughs> ain't none of them safe. <laughs> so, what kind of tradition do y'all have for Christmas coming up? What do y'all? You know do? what? I gotta, what kind of games do y'all play? You got a game style? Y'all play well, games. Well, when normally y'all get that's normally at Phil and Kay's house, and Miss Miss Kay is a game person. Y'all don't play dominoes. No, they play all kind of goofy, goofy junk. We play. No. We play. Uh, we have a cornhole playoff. Cornhole playoff. Chunking them bean bags. Bean bag boy. Why did they name it cornhole? Because the bag is full of corn, and is you try to throw the bag inside of a hole. Oh, okay. Thus, right. cornhole Thus, was we born. We play uh, left, right, center. Left, huh? right, center. You ever center. play that? Yeah. Game? Oh yeah, that's the dollar game. Yeah, yeah or five I always dollar, lose. Yeah. Or five dollars. You know how we play it for Christmas? Makes it really fun. What scratch offs? Scratch offs. Y'all play. Y'all have scratch offs. Scratch off lottery. You go oh. buy the scratch offs, and then somebody wins. It. When they win all the pots, then they get to sit there and scratch off, see how much they want. Well, that'd make a mess. Well, it does make a mess, but instead of winning. You know, twenty dollars. You have the potential. I mean, you could win a thousand. You could win a hundred grand. You know? You're not going to, but you could. You're not going to, yeah. But I mean, it's always I've always fun. wanted to win a hundred thousand dollars. My mother-in-law gives me lottery tickets. I've that's always wanted favorite, to get a big one and not tell her about. That's it. one of my favorite stocking stuffers. Oh yeah, yeah. There's lottery tickets, scratch off. Because I ain't gonna buy I'm, myself a lottery. I'm ticket. not either. <laughs> I don't. They don't mean that much to me. But when they <laughs> when they have the Christmas themed ones, I go get twenty dollars worth of them, wad them all up, put them in Britney stocking. And, and you get them if you. It's a gift. It's a good yeah, gift. It's, it's exciting. Yeah, uh, I enjoy um, it, especially if you hit the big one. Yeah. And Paula come up with this game called Know Your Relatives. Oh, I don't. That doesn't sound. That fun sounded at all. dangerous. I didn't get around the table <laughs> yeah, for that. Yeah. I noticed yeah. they didn't play that one very yeah. well. No, no that, you're a relative. That sounds yeah. like a good way to go from preaching to meddling real yeah, quick. Yeah, real right. quick. You don't want to get in yeah. on that bad. <laughs> we got it. So our tradition was always Christmas Eve breakfast. At Christmas my, Eve breakfast. Everybody wakes up and goes to my grandmother and granddaddy's house. And has breakfast. And has breakfast. But my granddaddy passed away probably six or seven years ago. And my grandmother this year asked me and my wife to host it. So oh, that's pretty what cool. an honor. Yeah, so she asked yeah. us at Thanksgiving. Yeah. And so like I was like, oh, wow. Because she's, she's 86 years old. And she was like, would y'all like to start hosting? So so now the tradition's getting passed on, which I thought was cool. But yeah. my, my granddaddy used to make homemade donuts, but he had to wake up at like 3.30 in the morning. So I might pull out a homemade donut. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A homemade donut. I used Just to act like you go on hunt. <laughs> yeah, that's that's early, but I think I can make some home. You know what donuts. Grandma said, right? She said, "I'm tired of cleaning up his kitchen. Let's put this on somebody else." <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I look, hey, <laughs> so well, I, I've done held this job long enough. Grandma so said, "Let's pass this on down yeah, the line." Right. Here. So we told her. I said, "Well, grandmother, I, yeah, well, we'd love to. We'll do it." Um, and she said, "Well, let me know what I can bring." I said, "Well, you just keep bringing all the food, and I'll just open up the doors." And yeah. she goes. No, I didn't offer that. No, no, we didn't offer that. That's it. I mean, it's it, yeah. every year is a full big pork chops, bacon. Wow. The That's breakfast Christmas chops. Eve? Oh, yeah. Okay. Christmas. Yo house. Now it's at my house. What time? I don't know. <laughs> we, show, like, we show up about 8.30. We'll be fine. We'll yeah. be getting fresh or oh, leftovers. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Hey, here's one. the deal with me. I'll be getting fresh. With her, that'd be leftovers. Yeah, that's fine. We might push the time clock of breakfast back a Y'all may start mind. hosting Christmas Eve brunch. Brunch. There you go. See, I'm a brunch man yeah. myself. Welcome welcome to the Owens for Christmas Eve brunch. I do like brunch, though. And I like breakfast burritos. Yeah, I like, I'm a fan of brunch because you get like, yeah, you get both combinations. It's, it's the best of everything. Yeah, it, it, it's a solid. If you got, we don't have a great brunch restaurant, do we? No, I don't not. know. I got too many kids. Brunch is for people without children. No, the best brunch you got around here, Waffle House. That's a good. Which brunch. is solid. All right, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. Look, as we go into winter, Christmas time, and all that, our vehicles out in the cold, your house out in the cold. Busted water lines, 
Mm. All that kind of good stuff. Uh-oh. Snow, ice on the roads. There's no better time to shop for home and auto coverage than right now, this time of year, because dangers are everywhere. All you have to do is head over to policygenius.com slash si mm-hmm. and answer a few questions about yourself Ooh. and your property. Policy Genius will show you price estimates for policies that fit your search and help you understand your options. The Policy Genius team can look for ways to save you more money. And if they find a better rate than what you're paying now, they'll switch you over for free. Policy Genius has saved customers an average of $1,250 per year over what they were paying for home and auto insurance. Their licensed experts will help you understand your options and apply for a policy. The Policy Genius team works for you not the insurance companies. You can trust them to offer unbiased help and advocate for you every step until you're covered. Policy Genius doesn't add on extra fees or sell your info to third parties. They have thousands of five-star reviews across Google and Trustpilot. Since 2014, Policy Genius has helped over 30 million people shop for insurance. Head on over to policygenius.com slash sci to get your free home and auto insurance quotes and see how much you could save. That's policygenius.com slash sci. Yeah. Have you seen these people lined up around the Denny's? Unbelievable. It's Denny's for crying out loud. Have you seen it, Si? Uh-uh. Si, we got a Denny's. Si don't go to Whale Road. Well, no. On Whale well Road exit. Oh, okay. So there's a Denny's now about, what, two miles from here? Yeah. They shut. I mean, it, it, it's there was unbelievable. A, there was a line 30 people deep at 11 o'clock on Sunday morning. For and Rucker, Rucker was out there standing. Uh, directing traffic. Yeah. Well, like, well, a like. guy that used to work here, Brian Rucker, He, we saw. I saw him out there. He, he was on the show a couple of times running the snow cone stand. He was just standing out there in line. You can spot him from a mile away. I'm surprised he wasn't out there like spinning a sign saying, come on in. Rucker a hustler now. He, oh, if, he that, hustler. if that $20 for me, $20 for oh, Rucker. Right. Like, he, he, he don't care. But he was he was in line to get some Denny's. I said, it's Denny's. Mm. I like Denny's. But I don't know if I do or if I don't, but I know I ain't standing in line to eat. No, if I see a line, I'll go on down the road. Yeah. You don't I'm even a, have to go down the road. Waffle House across the street. Yeah. <laughs> Did have a line? And then that Never. Line? No. We no, got, you know why? Because they like that NASCAR pit stop, son. They get you in and out of that yeah. joint. How many Waffle Houses do we have in West Monroe? Three One, two, or four? Three. Three. We three. have two right beside each other, don't we? Yeah. Well, on either side of the interstate. There's yeah. two within. Yeah, if you're going east or you're going west, you're covered. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pass two on my way back to work. And this, uh, in the first minute, yeah. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Other than covered, baby. But yeah, I just mm. don't get why people are <laughs> standing outside mm. for Denny's. I don't know. I miss. Since Joe Hanna's gone now, they would her and Paula would make Jesus' birthday cake. I miss the birthday cake. Maybe I ought to just start making it. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. Hey, you've you solved like that cake? dilemma. What kind of cake did Jesus like? I'm just yeah. curious. Yeah. Oh, it's all different kinds. Confetti. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I like it. It depends on what the cheese one's the mm-hmm. one I like. I like it. I, I done become a fan cream, of them. Cheese icing or something. Them double it. doozy cookie cake things, you know, just like two layers of cookie cake with icing in the middle. Like. I saw one of those oh, at yeah. Thanksgiving. Well, I avoided that. Big What's fan. One? I wanted it. Big fan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> Big yeah. fan. Boy. Big fan. Yeah, I like those. <laughs> Look at this jerk. Look, don't send us pictures of your freaking ice cream. Send us ice cream. I hope your tongue stuck to the container. <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's a Photoshop. That ain't real. Look, ain't real look he didn't even send a picture of the ice cream. That's the worst part. Ready? He didn't yeah. take the. Oh, he did. He didn't do the. Somebody did an empty one. But that's terrible. That doesn't even cast it in a good light. Mm-mm. Yeah. This man, uh, look, what's real. your name again? I'm telling you. All right, we're, Jonathan. Jonathan, you punk. It's like the UFO. We're back for our last segment. Hello at duckcallroom.com is the email address. But before we get into that, I do want to pass on a little, little news I read last night for our fans at home. Look, you know we believe in the power of prayer and everything. Our friend, Jim Shockey. His wife has been diagnosed with late stage lung cancer. Wow. That has spread all over her body before they found it. So the prognosis is grim for sure. And if you don't know who Jim Shockey is, look him up. He is a um, figurehead in the hunting world, he is a true outdoorsman, conservationist, 
having got to spend time with Jim and his family, Jim, he's a great guy, period, end of story. He is a just a good human being. And so, Jim, Louise, you are in our thoughts and prayers as you prepare for the battle that's ahead of you. Um, and, you know, I, I just want everybody – Lift that family up because Jim has done a lot for even people like us for the outdoors and getting mm -hmm. them a voice. So, yep. um, you know, anyway, so if y'all think about it, lift the Shockey family up. They are really, really good people. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, Jody D. Yeah. Um, well, we got quite a few emails in because we, uh, it's, you know, Thanksgiving break. So we took a little, we took a little break as well. Um, but I was reading emails this morning, and this one stuck out to me because it said, Johnny D hates casseroles. He hates casseroles. <laughs> That's the subject line. So I was like, oh, I'll read it. And then it has nothing to do with casseroles. That's uh, good. He got you. That's good marketing. <laughs> <laughs> he got so I So since he got me, I'm going to read it. So it's Tyler from Selma, Alabama. Uh, he, he wants us to keep doing the show. Well, we will. Uh, but he has a question about his duck calls freezing up during a hunt. Quit spitting it. Me and my brother have lost many birds due to a bad call because our calls freeze up. How do you keep y'all's from freezing? Thanks. P.S. Long live the cut down magnum. Oh. Huh. Oh, somebody after my own heart talking about that <laughs> yeah. cut down magnum now. Okay. I thought you'd like All that. right. Yeah. So how do you keep your duck calls from freezing? Tip one, quit spitting in them. Tip two, yeah. don't go when it's below 32 <laughs> degrees. That's how I live my life. <laughs> Tip two, look, here's what I do. I always, always, always make sure that the reeds are facing down when I blow. So if you do get any moisture, it ends up on your barrel and not on your tone board. Um. You have to actually look at the call, but the way I have mine positioned on my lanyard, that is the way I'm going to pick it up and blow it. There's no other way for me to do it. Tip three, if it's been a while since you called, keep it in a jacket pocket. Like all yeah. our jackets, all your waders all have pockets right here around your chest now. Slide them in there. Let your body keep it warm. It'll keep that moisture from sticking and locking. And there you go. Yeah. And that is, if you're, I'll give you another tip. If it's your favorite call and you use it a lot, check your reeds. The dimple may gone yeah. bad on you. Yeah, or the plastic got yeah. flat, lost yeah. memory, and yeah. you can bend it with your fingers yeah. and put a little more yeah. memory back in it. But but because if the dimples go down, but over, I do this over all the, years of use. I do this all the time too, and just hunting. Like when I get through blowing, I know if I just work ducks and had to blow a lot. As soon as we shoot and get them picked up and everything. I'll just go ahead and take my call apart and clean it out anyway because I know there's a pretty good chance. So if you got a little downtime, just break it up and, you know, wipe it off, wipe it on your jacket. If you got paper towels, those work great, but do that and just, you know, keep on doing it. The other thing we can do is send you some longer reeds. Longer. Uh, they won't stick as bad, but your call is going to be a lot lower. So, you know, there you go. There's a bunch of different things. Well, there's the there. duck hunting advice for the day, and then we got two different ones I want to get to that are spiritual slash life advice. Uh, uh, you've come to the right group of perfect men. That is a joke. There you go. There you go. What do you call it? Tails never fails, boys. I have heads. What? I think that's tails. That's heads. Is it? The eagle's head. Oh, sorry. that's heads. That's heads. Is the that's eagle sure. heads? Eagle's head. This eagle is tails. Yeah. This this one is. But that, hey, that was you heads. never put the eagle on tails. That's two out of three. I'm pretty sure the quarter Tail. of the eagle's uh, tails. You got it. Because the head yes. is on the tail. All right, we're going to see here. Call it, J.D. Tails. There you go. You got right. it. Look, when you're flipping pure silver that our <laughs> friends good. over at SD Bullion provided, tails ain't the only thing that never fails. Neither does gold or silver, and they can help you out with that, especially with the way our economy's going right now. Look, we all know how screwed up it is. Price of gas and groceries skyrocketing, product shortages, delays, all that kind of good stuff, and we know that inflation... Is looking like we all did 30 pounds ago. You just it swole up. So, you know what a lot of people are doing these days? Investing in gold and silver is a way to protect their savings against the dollar's loss of value and purchasing power. Our friends over at SD Bullion, who are passionate about helping people see the benefits of investing in gold and silver, are here to help. These guys are Christian-owned and on a mission to help you protect your hard-earned money from soaring inflation. If you have IRA funds you'd like to safeguard, 
against potential economic collapse, SD Bullion can help with that too. They offer some of the lowest prices on gold and silver. They've assisted over 200,000 customers for more than $2 billion, that's with a B, dollars in transactions, and they have earned an A-plus Better Business Bureau rating since 2012. In an industry full of snake oil salesmen, it's honestly refreshing to work with a company built on faith-based values with low transparent pricing. Visit sdbullion.com slash duck to sign up to win a monster box of U.S. Mint Silver Eagle coins. That's 500 silver coins, roughly 15 grand in value. For being a Duck Call Room listener, you'll also get a gold and silver guide for beginners and an exclusive discount. So just go to sdbullion.com slash duck and sign up to win one last time. That's sdbullion.com slash duck. Huh. Zach from Ontario, Canada said, I'm probably reading this while on the toilet, and that's perfect. Hmm. I don't get it. Are I, your feet warm? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, really. Question, what advice would you give a young father who is new to the faith? He, I know all of you are mature believers, and most of us have children. How do you lead your spir- family spiritually? I became a Christian four years ago and have two young kids, four and two. He's uh, He watches our podcast and the grown-up one. Uh, the other one that's filmed down the road. <laughs> and he'd just like Gosh. to hear our takes on raising a family in the faith and young kids in the faith. Your example is going to be the number one key to it. There it is. Consistency. Okay. Mm-hmm. There it is again. You know, you've always, you know, most people have got the, I guess I call it Sundayitis. Okay. They only go, you know, they only worship Sunday. Twice a day. And maybe maybe on Wednesday night. Maybe on okay. Wednesday night. Yeah. But anyway, but hey, religion, okay, God's religion is seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Okay. He's there. You know, my, my deal is, hey, raise your kids. Take them out in the great creation that God has given us. Okay, and actually spend time and and look at all the magnificent things he's created for us to use and enjoy. That's great advice. I wish I would have gone before you because my advice was going to be about church and it was going to be take them every time, Yeah, uh, which was going with consistency. And it's more than about, you know, Sunday mornings and where you sit on a Sunday morning. You know, that's one hour of. Yeah. You're meeting with the family. Yeah, that's what JD. Yeah, trying to that's tell one you. hour of your week. So yeah. if that's all you got, yeah. size right, you're missing it. But I do think it's important for your kids to know. I, I don't care what I like. Phil says I don't care if there's a million mallards on their way. You know what? My Sunday parents, we're shutting it down yep, and we're headed yep. in. You know what my parents and grandparents did with me too. They sat with me when I was those ages and said a prayer before bedtime. Oh yeah. And they always, always, always made me say the blessing before we ate dinner. And those things kind of stuck with me, you know. Get I mean, involved. Yeah, well, you get involved, yeah. and yeah. it's a constant reminder of giving yeah. thanks and talking yeah. to the Lord. It's a, it's a, it's a reminder that's not, hey, go read your Bible, or you know, something like yeah. that. It's just like, you're supposed to be praying and reading your yeah, Bible. Oh, man, I need, I need you to memorize seven scriptures today. You know, no, yeah. I mean, it's just a constant way to keep it to keep that thought in their head the whole time. And well, I trust me as you go up now, like if I stop and grab something quick to eat and I take a bite and I didn't say something, whether it be out loud or under my breath, I'm like, Oh, <laughs> you know, well, and here well, I am 36 years yeah, later saying yeah. that. So, yeah. well, look, that's what I was talking about on consistency. Okay. Yeah. It's real. Yeah. Okay. Your grandparents, I've always said it cause I, I didn't get to know either one of my grandfathers. Okay. And that's always, really tick me off to the max, okay? Because the grandparents give the kids something because they've already raised their kids, okay, and they've got time on their hands so they can spend time with their grandchildren, okay? And they give them things just like you're talking about, Mm -hmm. okay? Remind them, okay? Because in my humble opinion, okay, there's not enough thankfulness and appreciation nowadays, for what God has given us all. Now that'll preach. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, hey, that's me. No, I'm with you. That'll preach right there. 
That will preach. But hope that will help you there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Consistency. There it is. I I think that's the word that describes it best. I nailed it. They'll notice if you act in the same way on Monday that you are on Sunday. They'll hey. notice it. Yep, man. All right, last one of the day. Brody, 17 years old, from a small town called Calhoun, huh. Georgia. Uh, Golly, almost. Won. Oh, hey, we almost. You almost were from old Godwin's town. Uh, he goes to church, youth group, FCA leader. He he thinks that God's doing a lot of work in in the younger generation. It's great to hear. He he says some stuff. Uh, they just had an event about 700 kids uh, out there. 20 kids. Uh, saved or rededicated that night. That's awesome. Yep. Brody, keep it up. Yep. But he has a serious question. He's an average churchgoer, loves the Lord with all his heart, but death scares him. I, he doesn't know why. He knows he'll be in heaven, but it's still scary to think about death. Have any of us felt that way? Or is there anything you can tell me to help me with not being scared of dying? Let P.S. Me, love let, the show. Let me give you my personal opinion, okay? Me and my older brother, Phil, are the last ones of the Robertson family, okay? I've lost my father, my mother, two older brothers, Jim, Frank, and Harold, my older sister, Judy, my younger sister, Jan, okay? You know, I never thought I'd be able to tell people this, okay, because me and my mother were super close, okay? And if you'd asked me way back, what are you going to do when your mom dies, Okay. Here's what I know, okay? This is not a feeling. I actually believe it and know, okay? I know where they went, and look, here's the best part. I know who they're with, and I know what they're surrounded by, and that would be the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Everything they've got is on the joyful side of life, okay? And one of these days, there's going to be a family reunion in heaven, okay, and I'm going to see them again. So, hey, look, death to me, all it is is a change of address. Okay, so I, Robertson, one of these days, I'm going to fly off of this earth. <laughs> and I ain't no need no jet pack. I ain't no need no airplane. I ain't no need. It's going to be Jesus power. Okay, and I believe that with all my heart, mind, and soul. That's why I try to live the life I live right now. Hope that helps you, buddy. Yeah, hundred yep. percent. I mean, I you know, I I I would probably say it's somewhat normal to be scared yeah. of death. Yeah. I mean, like, don't think nothing about it. And I think that's something. What he say? He's an FCA. He's yeah, young. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's yeah. seventeen. Yeah. You shouldn't have that figured out yet, man. Be a seventeen-year-old. Like those days will come. You still have a lot of time to mature. A as a person. B as a Christian. You know, I mean, there's the, the, that those those days will come for you. Don't try to rush it. I and mean, you're on the right path, young man. Yeah, right. keep staying involved. Yeah. I mean, stay involved, stay active, stay plugged in with everything that you do, and you'll get to a point where you just honestly don't care if you wake up anymore. Because just like I si said, where you're going is way better than where you're at. Yep. Oh, yeah. So Where you're going, who you're going to be with, and what's going to be going on up there. Yeah going to be awesome it yep. is it's going to be undescribable okay so i'll finish it up with the verse of the day which is going to be a hit kind of hit home with the last email philippians one paul is in prison towards the end of his life and he says this to the people in philip philippi maybe yeah. Uh, for to me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. If I'm to go on living in the body, this will mean fruitful labor for me. Yet, what shall I choose? I don't know. I'm torn between the two. I desire to depart and be with Christ, which is better by far, but it is more necessary for you that I remain here. Convinced of this, I know that I will remain and will continue with all of you in your progress and joy in the faith so that through being through my being with you again, your boasting in Christ Jesus will abound on account of me. You know, Paul was ready to go, but he had unfinished business. And so while we're here, let's make the most of it. But we all know where we're going one day. I knew, I knew I'd heard that before. That's why I said there's, it's a change of address. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. We're going to depart from this tent we're in. 
I like and go that. to a better place. A tent. We're going to go to a mansion. Hey, the yeah. best thing. We're going to get out of this tent. Hey, We're going to be up in a He's got a reservation for all of us. Okay. I, that's what I like to look at. My rev, reservation has already been made. And look, it's already been paid for. All of it. Mm-hmm. Preach it. Hey, one of my favorite things I ever heard right before we go. Everybody calls that the afterlife. But that's actually just life. Yeah. Right now we're in pre-life. Yeah. Because we're going to be there for eternity. The so real deal is coming up. Whatever this is, that ain't the afterlife. That's our life. Yeah, this yeah. is, this be is the just real deal. before. Amen. All right. We'll see y'all preach next on, time. JD. Let's preach, baby. <laughs> we'll see y'all next time. Right we here go. In the call room. We out of here, boy.